The British Psychological Society are exploring the idea of whether it could be helpful for some psychologists to have the opportunity to develop the competencies required to prescribe medication. NHS England asked us what we think, so we set up a group to look at this in 2018. We know some of you are confident about your views on psychologists prescribing, but others have asked for more information. We all know that medical doctors and dentists can prescribe, but did you know some other professions such as nurses, physiotherapists and paramedics can also have prescribing rights? Whilst psychologists can't currently prescribe in the UK, psychologists have been safely prescribing medication in America for almost 30 years. Non-medical prescribers have to complete specialist training to make sure they have the right knowledge to prescribe safely. They need to have at least three years of post-qualification experience in the area that they work in and supervision from someone who is experienced in prescribing to get onto the training course. As well as this, psychologist prescribers would need to work within a multidisciplinary team or practice network. This means that if there were any medical needs, a specialist would be at hand to support the psychologist as they do for other non-medical prescribers. When someone goes to see a psychologist prescriber, they would still engage in the same collaborative assessment and formulation as they do at the moment. But there would also be the option for the person to talk about including or reducing medication alongside their psychological treatment. Non-medical prescribers can only work within their area of expertise. This means you couldn't go and see a psychologist prescriber for antibiotics when you have tonsillitis, but you might see one to help with opioid detoxification in a drug misuse setting. We've listened to a lot of people already, and there's lots of passion about prescribing. Some psychologists worry about how it might affect their professional identity. Some psychologists feel it's a natural evolution for the profession. Some people with lived experience can't wait because they won't have to tell their story twice. Some people with lived experience worry about trusting their psychologists if they talk about medication. It's all about choice. Only psychologists who wanted to and had the right experience could choose to do the training and have prescribing rights. Whatever the final BPS position is, we cannot grant prescribing rights to psychologists. New prescribing professions are approved in Parliament following a robust process which focuses on the benefits for service users. We are still engaging with the psychological community, other healthcare professions and anyone with a view about whether some psychologists should prescribe. We have a web page where you can find more information and the consultation document and frequently asked questions. Or you can email us at practice team group at bps dot org dot uk